Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna show you how to draw a computer mouse. So grab your pencils and let's get drawing. So first things first, we're gonna go through everything in detail and I might speed up parts of the video just to speed things along. Um, we'll do a generic shape of the mouse, kind of what we call a traditional mouse. Um, I guess corded or uncorded, it doesn't matter, but essentially the mouse is kind of this shape right here. So you're kind of, kind of curve back and then you'll go down um, over here, you'll kind of go forward a bit, and then you'll curve ahead. So you'll kind of curve down like this, right? Then you'll kind of curve back. This part over here will probably come up and down, right? And then down below, it's more of a flat surface because this is on the, the mouse pad or whatever you want to call it. Or sometimes you don't use a mouse pad, you just put it on the desk. So this part is relatively flat and it kind of goes up. Over here might come and curve down like this. And this might go a little wider actually. So yeah, I'll just take you through this process. Um, right away, I think this could be a little higher. So if, you, if you're drawing along and you kind of did that a little too short, you can just go up and back down. And remember like you, you are gonna have a higher spot at the back because the hand would be over here, the palm, and the fingers over here. Um, I think most people have used a mouse before. Although a lot of people use the trackpad and they kind of, are only familiar with the trackpad, so if that's the case, that's cool too. But just keep this in mind for um, the mouse. Over here, let's just say, we'll call it a traditional mouse. It's kind of this old school corded mouse. I think a lot of people use the optical cords now. Um, if you do, that's pretty normal, but uh, just for the purpose of the drawing, just to make it a little more, I guess, original, we'll just put a little cord over there and we'll just kind of let it blend in a little bit and just hit it with the eraser. And let's clean that up as well, so. Obviously this sketch is gonna be a little more of like an abstract type of thing, so nothing too wild or too crazy. I'm not gonna get too concerned about that. So we'll get this over here. Um, and of course, I think the, the traditional mouse has kind of a line in between, right? So you kind of have your, your um, your left click and your right click over here. So the line would probably go just like that. And if you're gonna do that, you probably wanna have um, just a bit of curvature here because these are kind of, if they were plastic, um, you'd have kind of like a bit of curvature to this piece here because you're kind of working with curved part. Um, so sometimes there would be a scroll wheel. The scroll wheel would be just over here. Actually, we'll lower it a bit. So we'll put the scroll wheel just down ever so slightly over here. And that's the part of the wheel. So kind of do that, right? And then the other part of the clicks will probably go just behind, right? So we'll kind of go over there. And I think I drew this already. This kind of comes over here. So I think what I'll do is I'll speed this part up, just kind of clean it up, just kind of show you as we go through it. So stay along, I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. We basically did all the foundational and structural work. And at this point, we basically look at maybe a darker pencil and just try to add in some shading lines. So we'll kind of put some things around the sides and the bottom. Um, what you might want to do is try to have your lines kind of curve up as well, because obviously this is a 3D item. So we want to maybe show like there is some elements of, of uh, you know, the side of this mouse kind of rising up as well. So you might want to go darker over here. You might want to put on some curvature lines. So we'll kind of do that. Um, typically over here, you might have a second line. 
um, just like a border. So sometimes when plastics are molded, the bottom piece is one and the top piece is another. So you might actually find that you want two, two kind of lines going around there. And that's all I'm just doing right now is putting on a second line. So just kind of quickly just put that on over there. Now if you're gonna do that, you might wanna really darken up the side, right? You might wanna really darken up the, the side. Maybe the lighting is coming from over here. So you might wanna just, you know, very quickly just kind of add some shading and tone at the bottom. And then a lot of the, the lighter sheen is at the top. I mean, every mouse is different. This is just a computer mouse. It's, it's, uh, it's not scientific by any means in terms of drawing it, but um, yeah, this is just how we're gonna do it. So what I'll do is I'll clean up around some of the sides. So this part, like I said, is usually, usually flat because it's on the mouse pad or the desk. And this part over here is higher because your palm is over here and the fingers are down at the bottom. So um, yeah, I'll basically go back to the 5B and just kind of put on some shading here. And just at the back, make sure that it's darker here. Although the light source is here, the reason that this is lighter up here is because it's curved, right? So your top is probably gonna be a little bit lighter than the back and even at the front. That's why the front is just ever so slightly um, darker down below. So, you know, putting it together. Um, we'll look at this track wheel that we kind of have and just make sure that the track wheel is a bit darker because usually, let's say it's black, like where it is, it's black and inside. So you kind of, the track wheel or whatever you call it, sits inside just like that. And this part is kind of dark because it's kind of like a hole, right? Um, the line between the, the two buttons, you might want to make sure that it's dark enough to really um, show those two those two buttons are separated. That's pretty much it. I mean, that's a kind of a quick drawing of how to draw a computer mouse. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, we'll leave it at that, but I'll just say thank you so much for watching and have a great day.